Hey everyone, I killed myself and my family. That was the introduction to a lengthy suicidal note on Instagram that was later used to explain a piece of detailed information on how the Allen neighborhood lost a wonderful family to two suicidal teenage boys. A family of six was found dead in their residence on the 1500 block of Pine Bluff Drive. A 19-year-old boy, Farhan Tauhid, and his 21-year-old brother, Tanvir Tauhid, had killed all four members of their family in a deadly murder-suicide. The deceased included the two brothers and four family members, Tauhidul Islam, the father, Iren Islam, the mother, Altafun Nessa, the grandmother, and Farbin Tauhid, the sister. The two suicidal brothers shot their own flesh and blood at random and, when the job was done, later turned the gun on themselves and pulled the trigger. Known to their friends and neighbors as the tight-knit, loving, free, and successful family, it was devastating for the community to see such a well-known family lose their lives at the hands of two depressed and mentally disturbed 19 and 21-year-old brothers. Now, the Tauhid family had moved to Allen, Texas from New York, which was their original place of residence. The head of the family, Mr. Tauhidul, worked in an information technology center. At the same time, Irene, his better half and mother to the two murder suspects, was a housewife whose primary duties was to look after her children and the house. Al Tafu, the children's grandmother, was also a victim. She was just visiting from Bangladesh and was arranged to travel back home a week before the deadly incident. However, unfortunately, due to restrictions because of the coronavirus pandemic, her travel plans were cut short. Now, Farhan, he was a college student taking computer science classes at the University of Texas in Austin, but apparently he later dropped out of school after talking about his mental health with his roommate on campus, and he said in a suicide note that he was evicted from campus, but according to a spokesperson from the University of Texas at Austin, they said that Farhan Tauhid voluntarily withdrew from school in January of this year, and that his housing contract was cancelled after his withdrawal, so obviously there's some conflicting info coming from the suicide note and then coming from the spokesperson from the campus itself. And as for Farhan's older brother, Tanvir, they did go to the same university, but it's unclear if they dropped out together or if he left prior to Farhan leaving himself. Now, Fabrin, the twin sister to Farhan and a younger sibling to Tanvir, was expected to join New York University after receiving a full ride scholarship award. You know, on the outside, this was a picture perfect family that no one could have ever thought would go out in such a tragic way. In any case, Allen police had done a wellness check on Monday morning at the red bricked house resided by the Tauhid family after receiving a distressed call. The welfare check was based on a call from one of the family friends who came near a random lengthy suicidal letter on Farhan's Instagram post. And the family friend was in distress and concerned that she actually reached out to the police and hinted upon a possible suicide mission as she had thought. But not known to her, it was more than just a suicide mission, but also a murder expedition as well. However, upon arriving to the house, the police opened the door to a sad death scene where the family had died from gunshot wounds. And according to the police speech given to the public, Farhan and his brother had planned a month prior how to execute the heinous activity on family and themselves. This was according to the drawn out composition written on Farhan's Instagram post. And it isn't really clear when the two brothers decided to execute this plan of killing their entire family and then killing themselves, but the investigation report by the police is of the opinion that it might have happened on Saturday night. And for a pretty low crime area that isn't really used to these kinds of crimes, this dark tragedy came as an incredible shock to the whole community. Syed Choudhury, 60 years old and a family friend, couldn't believe her ears when she had heard what had happened to a family that she didn't think had any problems within the home. Investigations indicated that the heinous crime committed by the two brothers that befell the family was based on a pact that they had made earlier, according to the Instagram post that one of the brothers had posted. It goes into detail to explain how the two sons of Mr. Tauhidol was suffering from depression. Farhan, the 19-year-old, went ahead and even mentioned that he was depressed ever since 2016. He said, and I quote, For those who don't know, I've had depression since the ninth grade. And at the time, he was pretty much in denial about his depression. He also said in the post, and I quote, Not the damn, I failed my test depression everyone says that they have, but more like, I only cut myself twice today, so that's better than usual. And a friend of Farhan from school, I suppose, mentioned that it wasn't the first time that he encountered Farhan cutting himself when he was alive. 
He said that Farhan was known to use sharp objects while at school to hurt himself regularly, and his older brother was battling depression too. Tanvir, the older brother, was described with his younger brother as being socially anxious and constantly depressed. And based on the Instagram post that Farhan posted to his page, it was pretty clear that they were already standing on the edge and they had enough. In the official reports, it indicated that Farhan's mental illness had gotten worse, which led his family to try and help him. And his father tried helping him out by checking him into a mental health camp as the only option a parent could have thought to do at the time. According to the Instagram post, this is what Farhan said about it, and I quote, Eventually, I was thrown into some teen mental health camp where I was finally diagnosed and got medication. But obviously, that mental health camp did not help at all and he came back home feeling the same or if not worse however according to other reports the two brothers had made a suicide agreement that if they did not get any help for their depression within a year they would commit suicide and that ending their life was the only solution for their life miseries according to the police report but obviously they didn't get the help that they think they should have gotten and when the time came tanvir went ahead and helped his younger brother purchase two guns which they used to complete the task this is what they said and i quote I would say the only hard part of the plan was getting the guns. And Farhan, before he died, was basically just trying to criticize this country's gun control laws. He said, and I quote, Gun control in the USA is a joke. And it's pretty obvious that his statements were pretty emotional before he died. Being that young and being that uneducated, he doesn't understand that each state has its own requirements for who and how you can purchase a weapon. But since he lived in Texas, I believe it's pretty easy to get one down there if you pass the background check and are of age and you fill out all the required documents. But he said, and I quote, There was a question asking if I had mental illnesses, but get this, I lied. Thanks for making the process easy, obviously being sarcastic in his final words. In any case, the boys were able to purchase two guns, and it was clear that they purchased the guns legally from the store, and all they had to do was lie about their mental state if questioned and signed the forms. And the guns were used to kill the family members, as planned by the brothers a year prior. And in the six-page suicide note, Farhan created a picture of how they were going to murder their parents and then kill themselves. They were to get two guns and divide them among themselves. Tanvir was to use one of the weapons to take out his parents while Farhan handled his sister and grandmother. Afterward, they were to take themselves out using the same guns. The neighbors reported not hearing gunshots, so the police were never alarmed of any firearms in the area. As far as why they killed their own family members instead of just ending their own lives, the theory is that the two brothers didn't want to kill themselves, leaving their family members behind in pain. So instead of just taking themselves out, they would just rather bring the whole family along with them. Farhan did indicate that he did not have any malice towards his family. In fact, that he actually loved them. He loved his father, his sister, his mother, and his grandmother. Also, he said that he felt he would be doing the family a favor by killing them as they will not have to live in guilt and despair. And I know for some of you listening right now, it sounds kind of weird, but it does happen. You know, a lot of these murder suicides happen because, you know, people feel like their family members won't be able to live without them. But it's obvious that we have a huge mental health problem, like an epidemic of sorts that is causing young men to go out and kill people with guns because they feel like they have nothing else to live for. But it's not a coincidence that there's been a significant increase in crimes like this. I believe that today's society is not conducive to a healthy state of mind for a lot of young men in this country. And I'm not going to be getting into the reasons for why I believe all of this is happening in this video because I really don't want to get political or talk about the sociological issues that we definitely have in our country today. But I'm pretty sure we all know that we have a problem that needs to be fixed as soon as possible. In any case, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. And with that being said, you guys already know who it is. And until next time, stay safe out there.